Beats Music. As you have been told, we are trying very hard to look for the various segments of society since I got into Abuja last year. And as you have told you, the first thing we did was uh, looking at the market women. These are not politicians, they are just market women. And we tried to do a lot of support for them, we give them money to go and begin to to their markets to sell this and that. They are going to set up the first and second tranche of that. We are hoping that very soon we are going to do the fourth tranche. I think in that state we must have touched over a thousand markets already. Yes. There is also the steam as we be told that we've done with the farmers. We've done the uh, discussions with them. We provided several hundreds of them, hundreds of fertilizers and seeds for them to go and to begin to concentrate on what they know how best to do. As you are aware, the biggest one we have in Nigeria today is the big power system. And what, part of what is the point of this is that our people are no longer farming. Uh, we all go for white collar jobs and nobody is. In fact, there are more farming going on in other parts of the country than this is our zone. That's why the fact that we are in the real product, we are teachers. What you taught us in geography, in doing this was that we have better fertile land. We told us that up north there is savanna, there is uh, desert. But savanna and desert are the one producing food for us now because we are not taking our natural endowment very seriously. So we are there for the time to continue to encourage uh, our farmers. And I'm hoping that they also will start to do well. But what we also did, because sometimes we need to remind ourselves, was that in the civil service structure, the more and more treating teachers as second kind uh, workers. We should not be, because I just look and say, what exactly is the logic behind what people are doing? This is the teacher who taught the engineer, is the teacher who taught the so-called core civil servant, and you are now saying the teacher cannot become power serving, they cannot be, they cannot be that. What is that? So that was the first part of my thought. And that was, remember, why we created the position of principal general. Yes, was the equivalent of a permanent uh, secretary. I hope they've not scrapped it before there are so many things that they scrapped. I hope they didn't scrap it because that is something that guarantees the career of teachers. So that this business of uh, the reward of teachers is in heaven is not fair. Let teachers be rewarded here or not. Okay? <laughs> now, uh, however, whatever we do, this one that you see here is not my money. It is part of my constituency project under the National Project Centre. And it is not possible if we don't have the approval of President Bola and Mr. So, I want to say congratulations, sir, for uh, partnership with 
the National Productivity Center and for executing this important program, particularly for the teachers. Most of the times, teachers are being overlooked. We hear people implementing projects on this, on that, and that, but they forgot about the teacher. And today, I want to congratulate the participants for being lucky to be part of this project. The knowledge of that will have a great impact on our educational system and the young ones. So I want to say thank you for being part of this training. So we are here to monitor the process to ensure quality service delivery. So I urge the participants that the knowledge acquired should not be in vain. Like the senator said, some people will want to go and sell it. I have inspected a training project like this. Some people were trained and empowered. They were given some uh, uh, startup capital. And immediately after the, the, the training, they sold all these things. Very cheap. And they pocket the money. So what is the importance of it? So I urge the participants to use the knowledge of parents so that our children will also benefit and then the theory of the ICT revolution. Thank you. So the knowledge areas is one is that software and then software is also divided. You have the content development. Those are the point, those who design the interface that you see. Yeah, how is this interface connecting to your requirement, to your need? To your expectation. There are people who use the HTML, the CSS, they use the JavaScript to develop a front end application that helps end users to interact with systems. They also have the back end developers. The back end developers is that part where you use the scripture language to write the logic for the computers and so that when you push in your result, your source, you know you just upload. I mean, Somebody did the interface to upload. But immediately you finish up the upload, something is taking this course and it's checking, is it 50? That should be C. If it is D, that is this. Okay, put everything together, add it together, and give it this idea. That's the backend developers who are working hard to ensure that these things gives you expected value. Then you have the full stack in the software development. The full stack are those who combine both the front end and the back-end skills together. So we need that skill where we'll be able to take media devices, do recording, edit content, and then share content. You see people now talking about content creators. It's a big money now. So now people are beginning, even businesses are beginning to understand that the only way to run your business optimally is that you must have access to reliable and valid data. Now, AI is also coming, and I think AI is before us now. Anyone who is still thinking that AI will not come, I think is not in this world again. The artificial intelligence is also a big area in ICT that has to do with how systems can create intelligence that will support what we're doing. People are majoring in artificial intelligence to build systems that can make things work. You know, these days now, I don't know if somebody has heard of Alexa. It's not like a new companion that you use Alexa at your home and say, Alexa, it's time. I want to go to bed. I need tea. Alexa will go get you tea. So we can begin to see that teachers must take expertise in AI for them to be very relevant in this age and time. So there are opportunities. What that means is this. We need to begin to create systems that will allow people to have equal access to education. And if we are creating this, I think we are creating opportunity for people now to know that if we are going to practice, we need to prepare.
Mr. Daniel. We are happy to be here once again. We thank you for your effort from time in memoriam. But since you decided to take us as your teacher when you are the governor of the, of the state, we thank you, we appreciate you. Now that you are in the senator, you didn't forget us. You are still doing as ever. We thank you very much, we appreciate you, and we just don't know how to express our feelings. But this you have done is a great thing. Help to say three, go sir. Again. Go sir! Go sir! Go sir! I am here today as a participant to benefit from the from what our Senator Otumba Bengadanel is doing for the teachers in the Senatorial District. So I really appreciate him for the good efforts towards the development and the progress of the teacher in the district. So we bless God for his life. It's a prayer that the Lord will continue to strengthen him the more in Jesus' name. I'm so excited over joy because I wasn't expecting this. When I was given this, I was like, ah, could this be real? But here it is, live and direct, and it is real. I can even further learn in teaching my kids very well with the help of this laptop. It will make us to go far in class. From the Revolution High School, I really want to appreciate uh, Mr. Excellency, our Senator, Otuba Binga Daniel. We thank you for this. I was one of those people you employed when you are our government in the United States. This is another opportunity and will take my teaching and profession, my career to another place. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ha, well, I'm really happy for this. In fact, I've been longing for this. I don't know how to get it because of the cost. And I'm really happy today because I have the opportunities. I'm one of the beneficiaries. Um, of today's um, pro program. So I appreciate His Excellency uh, Otumba Benga Daniel. Uh, we appreciate you and we say thank you once again. Yeah, I think this is timely, this is fantastic, uh, especially now that our national digital ecosystem is evolving and our education also is uh, beginning to see the effect of technology. So having this for teachers, uh, I think it's uh, fantastic, it's a well thought out thing. And uh, I think we can't even expect anything less from uh, Otuba Benga Daniel because this is something that he's very much passionate about, human capital development, and he has a lot of regard and uh, expectation in education. So I think this is just like what is expected that he's doing.